Recording in progress. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how you take floor plans from the architecturals as PDFs and bring them into AutoCAD. Um, so how are you going to do this? So let's say we're working on level P1. So the first level in our project. The first thing you're going to do is extract it. So you go to document, extract pages, select the pages. So it's already on 14. Um, extract pages separate files. Um, you don't need to use page label. You can name it yourself. Open files. It all looks all right. So you say, okay. Um, I'm just going to put in my documents folder. Um, as you can see here, we have it all. Um, extract it out from everything else. So it's just the one page. Um, so I like to do is just make sure that's cool, close it out, go ahead, and then take that plan. I like to just name it like level one or level P1. So I know which one it's going to be. And then you go into AutoCAD. Um, you do from the start menu, you go start drawing. Go into model space, do PDF import, select that PDF, say open. All this is correct, so just leave it how you see it. Um, screenshot it and just make sure that yours is the same. Um, say OK. And now it's going to be loading that in. So as you can see down here, um, I'm just going to pause the video for now, but I'll resume it once it's done. OK, so now it's all in our AutoCAD file. Um, but the scale isn't going to be correct. So if I dimensioned from this point to this point, you know, it's giving me one foot seven inches on. So we have to do is scale it. So what you do is you type in scale, enter. You select your objects. Enter. Specified base point. So the best way to do this is between two grids. Use like one of these points, so either here, 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 and here, just something that's parallel. But I'm going to do like this point here, click right there, and now it's going to ask for a scale factor or a reference. I'm just going to type R for reference, press enter, and now you're going to go ahead and re click that base point, and then you're going to click this point right here so between the grids and you know it's going to be 19.5 so you click that and now it says specify new length so now you're going to type in 19 foot 5 inches enter and it's going to blow up and now if you dimension between the grids you see it's at 19 foot 5. Um, and then just as a double check, you want to kind of check maybe a random vertical grid. Um, so this should come out as 31 foot six. Pretty close. That'll be a little bit off just because the PDF to CAD isn't perfect, but it should give you a good enough frame to kind of lay out your walls. So then after I do that, I kind of like to come in and clear out some of these guys. Have unnecessary things, perhaps. You don't have to do too much, but anything like that could help just make it a little cleaner. Um, so now I do a save as. And I'm going to save this as level P1. Save. Okay, so now that's all saved. So now if you go into your um, Revit project, you go into a floor plan view, you can go um, to insert, then import CAD. 
Um, I think I have this set up. Import CAD. Then you go right here, level P1. You can do colors, black and white, all layers, correct lines, origin to origin. It all looks good. Open. Now, let's see. You have your um, DWG right on top. And this is movable. Oh, it should be. Yeah, so if you unpin that, you can move this all around. So I like to kind of move it out. You know, you don't have to move it anywhere specific, but move the tab out of the grids. Um, so if you do an align command, you're going to want to align your zero. With their zero. And then we're going to align A with RA. So as you can see, things are pretty well lined up here. Um, and then you can go ahead and click on this. You can just pin that. And there you have it. Um, that's about it. So you just re you repeat this process for any of the levels you want to copy over, and you should be good to go.